of Palatina recently, but I guess Sheik is the one. And he's wearing the Nairo Ganon shirt. That's amazing. Yep. So I'm curious what he's going to do here. Toomey has more kill power, a lot more kill power than Sheik. Oh, and he can so space much. him out so well. When it comes to Sheik, you have to do so many kill You have to know your kill confirms for so much. Those moves are doing 3% damage per attack. That sucks. <laughs> And it's like you have to do kill moves at low percents when they're not going to kill just to rack up enough percent to be able to kill. I've been trying my own hand at picking up Sheik recently. Uh, very, very weird character. You got to space really hard, play very patient, very safe. I actually just been playing Sheik, I think, since the other day. Played him in bracket in round one, I did, and it's pretty fun. I love playing Sheik, but not enjoying the lightness there is to the character. Yeah, that's one thing they definitely need to fix. Dies extremely early. Trippy running away with this game just quite a bit. Fishing for these forward airs, knowing that one of these will take the stock. Nice drag down. Ooh. Speedy moving a little bit and then just gets heated off the left side. With the taunt. You know, I thought I heard it, but I didn't see it, so I didn't call it out. Yeah, I heard the taunt. That's all I knew he did it. Nice forward air. Link, such great movement speed. He might be a light character, but in this matchup, it's really bad when it comes to Sheik. I'm curious if we're going to see if uh, if Speedy loses this. I mean, we're most likely going to see a switch to uh, probably Palutena. The Reflector would work a lot better in this matchup, but wow. Oh and it was so clean, but not enough. And there it is. Speedy lab. Oh my god. Speedy knowing his lab well. Nice needle of bouncing fish. Oh my god, I can't even do that. <laughs> I can't either. Up to a really safe option when it comes to Toon Link. I wonder see if we'll see. Running up and shielding a lot. Always expecting some kind of hitbox being thrown out from Trippy. I wouldn't doubt it when it comes to Toon Link's aerials. Up tilt to up air is such a dominant move. Look at these fairies, boys. He did about 6%. <laughs> I'm surprised he dropped that. I feel like he could have kept it going. I think he had one more hit in there, but he decided to drop it just in case. Yeah, see, there it is. Again, I think dropping it a little bit early. Maybe he's starting to miss the spacing as he goes along, feeling that like the fourth hit's not going to land. I'm curious, maybe he's looking for a specific percent for a specific combo, maybe? Could be. He's the Shink main, I'm not. <laughs> oh, what a nice parry. Oh, trying to get the drag down, though. He called up that jump since last week. Oh my god. And the crazy matchup this is, taking account Speedy's putting in so much work to put on damage and just not getting a lot of it. And he's in such a deficit right now. And it's going to take such a long time to pull back from this. With Sheik having no damage output, he's going to have to get at least seven combos before he can actually take his. I do like that boomerang to up B. That was really good coming out of the to the ledge trap. I'm surprised there was no up smash after the drag down up air at lead at, uh, at the platform because that could have racked up at least a good 20%. Something in common was a lot of ship names just going for that damage, but maybe speed. He did throw out a move right after, so I don't think he expected it to land. Nice nair. One of Sheik's best moves has to be nair. A lot of priority on it. And actually extremely long, too. Very yep. long hitbox. Nice parry. Is he going to get the up air? Oh, it fell out. Great up smash read. Sheik, one of the best characters to watch, I think, in Smash, and people really dedicate themselves to it. But, Tri but Trippy just really running away with this lead. It is even stock, so you never know. Right when I say you never know, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Nice Random S smash. S smash, knowing he's gonna drop shield. Trippy takes game one. Hey, who's this guy though? I didn't even know this guy was in Tekken. Who, the fat guy? Yeah. The fat guy's been in Tekken. Bro, the fat guy looks like he's wearing a diaper. <laughs> that's how you that's what you need to be an ultimate fighter, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and there's the Palutena. Smart choice from Speedy. Gonna hopefully get the uh Reverse 2-0 on this set. I honestly feel like this is such a better matchup. <laughs> Speedy should feel so much more comfortable.
Seems to be getting very aggressive. Forder barely catching there. Catching. Wow. Oh, finally. There we go. All those nares are clipping them. To be honest, the game doesn't really start until about 40% with Pouncing. Because you nair three times, 40, then the game starts, okay? We all know that. If you're not getting nair strained, should you really be playing Palatino? Yep, exactly. Could be looking for that jump read. I'm surprised he didn't go for up air first. He went for back air instead. I guess he was expecting a fastball. That boomerang connection just getting his. Oh, he died at 90. 108 after hit. Trippy takes takes a lead. Wow, two frame with down tilt, not gonna follow up with the forward air he wanted. Great air dodge to smash. That F, that F, or that fair would have definitely taken it. Very disappointing on that. Is he gonna see another down tilt? Oh, Speedy just not going out far enough for that fair. Eat to the left blast zone is not gonna be enough. Good DI coming out from Trippy. That's, that's the link recovery with you, always gonna get two frame. That's Back tricky. here from cross stage. Finally losing it. Speed's at 61 on his second stock with uh, Palatina's combo game. If he can get, just get a, a Nair plane into up air, he might be able to even this out. Oh, spot dodge the up. He's so smart coming from Trippy. The Trippy's covering all the options. That was a good read. That was a good read. That was was that a zero? That was a zero to death. It was the longest zero that I've ever seen, but it was one. He not, didn't take any damage during that entire stock. He'll be playing so patient and working out perfectly for him. And I don't see him throwing out a lot of projectiles at uh, Speedy on stage. Which is smart with that reflector, it could hurt him a lot. He's just playing extremely safe and I uh, think extremely aggressive too. Oh my, that jab wow. reset with the bow or with the arrow was beautiful. Could be playing out of his mind. Really a, a lot different than what he used to look like, especially with his DK. Harsh Zare, we've seen he's trippy the whole game. So get back to stage. He's actually my first time seeing Trippy's Toon Link, so this is, uh, this is a really nice block. Ooh, that was sad. Unfortunate. Doing that back air on shield, not reacting with his up quick enough. Maybe thought he had a jump left. I'm guessing how early Speedy died last time. Anything off the, the left and right edges might kill him at this percentage. Yeah, a lot of people underestimate uh, Toon Link's kill power, but he, he can kill. His hitboxes just aren't all that great. <laughs> or re-grab when he lands. He's like, I know where you're going. Speedy definitely at kill percent at the moment. Oh, looking for the Nair train. Couldn't get it. Let's see where he chooses. Should be going for the all-in. That was so close. Covering, he covered roll. With Speedy new to shield. Let's see if he can bring this back. Down oh. air. And that's going to take it, I guess. The down air, up air trades. Trippy takes the game and it's at 2-0. And I think Speedy goes out at 7th. 